In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some useful drop shadows when you're working with people or portraits in Illustrator. So you can see I have a portrait of my selfie and I've got two photos. And I just put them next to each other so we can see the difference. So if I zoom into this one, you can see this one is very black and dark, right? And if I go to this one, you can see how it's more subtle, it's more faded and has like a color to it in the background. What looks better? To be honest, for me, I feel like this one works better. And I'm going to show you the difference on how to create these two. It just depends on the type of, you know, shadow you're going for. Maybe you're doing a mock-up. Maybe you have some text or something. It just depends on what you want. But what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to create, recreate these. So what you do is I'm just going to duplicate this object. You want to go to the appearance panel. I'm just going to delete the drop shadow off there. So it can be a portrait. It can be an image, whatever. This is just a transparent PNG. And what I want to do now is go to my appearance panel. Click the FX drop down button click stylize and then click drop shadow now once you select this what I tend to do is I click on color first so you always got to think like what color do you want do you want it to be just black and plain or do you want it to have a, a nice color for the background if you select black you can see how it has a black outline then once again you can always you know edit the opacity you can edit the offset. So if I want to make it more inside or outside like this, you know, you can always play around with that, the different shadows and the direction of the actual shadow. You can edit the blur. So if you make it really blurry, you can see it'll go heaps big, but it'll probably get more laggy. And I might bump down the opacity there, which is okay. So, so you can see now we had this cool shadow, right? But I don't like how it's black. I want it to you know, work better with the background, which is the orange color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on drop shadow again, click on color. And instead of like using this, right, you can put hex codes in. But obviously what I want to do is I want to click on color swatches. This allows me to select a color from my actual swatches. So if you have your brand colors or you have the colors that you're working with, what I can do is go and select a swatch. Instead of just using black, I can select a swatch. So what I want to do is select um, the same color, but you want it to have a darker tone to it. So you want it to have more black in it. So you can see I've got a couple oranges here that it makes it more brownie. I don't want to select the same color. I want to make it a bit more dark. So I'll select this one and press OK. And what I want to do, I want to make the blending mode. You can see in normal, it doesn't really fade nice. But if I click on multiply, you can see I'm starting to get this nice orangey color. So it makes the, the shadow more true to the background. So now if I zoom in here, you can see it actually has a nicer color there and it fades better into the background instead of just having black like we have this one. As you can see there, it just looks, sometimes it looks a bit like too unrealistic and not with the same light of the, you know, of the artwork. So this is just a cool tip and trick on, you know, playing around with the drop shadows and using um, the same color to actually make the drop shadows a lot more better and a lot smoother and this works for ui as well you can do the same for when you're doing a ui design it'll work the same way so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments if you like this type of tutorial because i'll be happy to work on some more and remember to hit that subscribe button so you can get all the updates on new content as well and i'll be happy to make some more stuff so i'll catch you in the next video see you then